Tana River. And after weeks of protests against President William Ruta's government, the head of state is seemingly adopting new strategies in his bid to turn the tide in his favor. As Jeff Kiri reports, the president has resorted to town hall engagements as he seeks to revive his dalliance with, or rather dalliance with the people amidst concerns that his administration is drastically losing its popularity. On the 25th of June, the invasion of Parliament of Kenya and the subsequent protests calling for the resignation of President William Ruto has painted the Kenya Kwanzaa arguably as the most unpopular regime. Less than three years in office, President William Ruto is facing an onslaught from Kenyans over unpopular policies. true that broke the camel's back being the finance bill 2024 that caused sporadic eruption of opposition and protest. <laughs> the president still holds that though the bill was withdrawn, it was defeated by propaganda that boiled down to government's poor messaging allowing misinformation and disinformation. The biggest challenge that I regret is that we didn't communicate better. Maybe we, we failed in explaining to Kenyans what the finance bill was all about. We didn't explain ourselves uh, better. Maybe my communication team failed. Maybe my, uh, not maybe, I'm sure my communication team uh, failed. Our communication uh, architecture did not deliver, did not get uh, the message out to the people of Kenya. The president has now restructured his mode of engaging the masses, now opting to town hall meetings with the inaugural session happening in Mombasa during his tour of the coastal region. A strategy seemingly geared towards re-strategizing and reconfiguring his waning political fortune amidst the onslaught from the popular demography of youth in Kenya. Welcome to this town hall, one among many that I will be holding to have a direct engagement with the people of Kenya on matters that are important to us as a nation. In what is also appearing to be efforts to win back regional support, the president has gone back to regional tours, guised as development tours, visits that he unveils development projects, as political pundits argue it's a strategy to woo support back to his side. His new cabinet also an indication of his intentions to conquer new political grounds. The president has gone for Raila Odinga's support base by looping in his close allies, with the appointment of Hassan Joho in the coast, John Badi and Opio Wandai in Nyanza region, and reinforcing the western region with the appointment of Kakamega's first governor weekly for Paranya. Kwa sababu tumekubaliana ya kwamba tutembee pamoja. Sisi ni inchi ya demokrasia. Na katika demokrasia ile, demokrasia pia iko na nafasi ya kuweka national interest above partisan political, political party and regional politics. Nitarudi hapa tena Jeff Kirui KT News. Thank you Jeff Kirui for that report.